Number two. Not referring to shitting, but. <laughs> Interview number two, guys. Smile, empty soul. Guys, what's been going on? <laughs> You're laughing already. <laughs> you even started. <laughs> you started the interview out with number two. You already <laughs> referred to a bodily fluid act of <laughs> shitting well, poop. Yeah. Penis. Last, I, I say, I haven't watched the last interview in a while, but we've done an interview basically standing right here last time. It has been, what, about a year ago? Mm -hmm. You guys were yeah. feeling a little better last time, I think, <laughs> because you... Yeah. Uh, Maybe a little bit more stone last time. Was that it? Yeah, we thought we had to play it a little later, so there was an error. <laughs> but actually, there wasn't an error. Yeah, it was supposed to be that way. That's right. We're still pretty stone. I think that. Uh... Yeah, I hope I got that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> We're all pretty fucking road worn and kind of haggard at this point. We've been on the road for about eight weeks, and. Uh... We just finished week nine. Week nine. What? That was week nine. Yeah, we started. This is the beginning of week ten. Jeez. That doesn't sound right. I really? The beginning of week. I think this is the beginning oh, of week nine. Week nine. We just finished week eight. <laughs> We've been on the road for two months straight and uh, grueling schedule and yeah. just tons of travel and, and work. And uh, it wears you down after a while mentally, bends your... Physically. Bends your, <laughs> bends your perception of reality and uh, here we are. What about tell fans me? Maybe even younger kids are wanting to get in a band. What kind of toll it takes on your body physically when you're touring out on the road? I'll tell you right now, dude. My shit is fucked up, dude. I had to go to a, chi a chiropractor today for the first time in my entire <laughs> life, dude. Yeah. Because I had a sl like a, a, a vertebrae, like my my C two vertebrae was fucking laterally deviated, and so it had to be fucking <laughs> back yeah. in. And so like everything in my neck is like sore as fuck. Yeah, it, take, it takes a... So you have that to fucking look yeah, forward to, kids. Exactly. Hey, see, you got to stretch and shit and uh, be careful with what you're doing here because you're out in the middle of nowhere. So you got to take care of yourself. Yeah. Now, let's talk about this. Like, we were just talking. We had our first interview about a year ago. We try and be one of the more fun interviews that you guys normally do. But do you remember even before our first interview or just even recently, maybe your worst interview you've ever experienced? <clears throat> Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. What was that? That one we did on the Hurt tour last year. Remember? Actually, no, it was earlier this year in the springtime. Yeah. At well, that, that Penn college. Station, yeah, Penn yeah, State, yeah. or wherever we no, were, some college. Good that. when you all know the same one. That's uh, so. What, what? What was it? I mean, so we play the show, and some kid comes up to us. He's probably about eighteen or nineteen. He's like, "Dude, you guys are awesome. Good show. I uh, we just started this internet." Uh, like fan metal fan site and we're interviewing bands we've already interviewed a couple if you guys want to would you like would you be interested in if we interviewed you say like, okay cool so they bring the camera they don't have any type of lighting we're in like the worst place it ends up like uh it was like one of our techs has to light it with the flashlight and so then he's like he has his buddies filming it and, and then he tells his buddy okay all right ready go he's like hey everybody i'm here with <laughs> guys he didn't know who he was fucking interviewing dude and he did and then he's like what he said something ridiculous for the first question it was like all right first question oh was it boxers or briefs or something or it was, it yeah was, it was something just ridiculous dude and we were all just like oh here we go it was something about manscaping or no, some bullshit what's your favorite sex position or something <laughs> yeah, yeah dude. something retarded like that all right, cool. First question: What's your favorite sexual position? Whoa, fucking <laughs> first question. Overweight nineteen-year-old guy who I don't know. Look, this is be, fucking he awkward. He doesn't even know our band. Yeah, he's asking us what sexual positions we enjoy. I'll be honest. We have some questions like that that are in here, but that's I different though. Out that way. I mean, yeah. you know our band the name at least. I follow you guys. What? Two thousand three, the debut album came out. I've been listening since day one. You See, guys are professional. One of my, exactly. Well, also, you, you set up Mike. Camera action. I mean, this guy. Lighting, schedule. Yeah. A jag off with a camera. <laughs> yeah. Self respect. <laughs> so, if any interviews are out there want to take advice, I mean, you've heard be, it professional. Here. be professional. If you're going to be a, a, a some type of journalist, be professional. Do the work. Yeah. Do be research. a journal. Dr be research a journal. even. Research. Good. Every time. Yep. Oh yeah. I like our box because you know the fans do my job for me about half of it. I mean, I'll, but I still got the questions. 
Like, uh, you know, what about this? Interview questions that you hate to answer. Because, you know, one thing we try and stay away from is where'd the band name come from oh, and all that stuff. that's fucking it right there. You guys have been a band for ten year, over 10 years now. And, you know, you get you guys can search every other Smile Empty Soul interview and probably mm -hmm. see that question. Totally, man. Mm -hmm. there, there's a whole bunch of questions that are just the same questions everybody asks over and over again. And you just kind of turn autopilot on, yeah. you know, after a while in those interviews. So. I think from now on, whenever we get those standard questions, I'm going to make up the most ridiculous answer. It was our fourth year underground touring in South Africa, feeding blood diamonds to children to smuggle. You know, that kind of shit. Yeah. So then your Wikipedia page is going to be all fucked up, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, they said this, they said this, they said this. That's right. Okay, now let's do this. Chemicals is out now. October 1st it came out. How about positive and negative reviews you've heard on it? Because... There's a b always a bands out there that have haters, right? I mean, you guys mm -hmm. have some haters, don't you? A little few, of course. Of course. How, what have you seen online, or even just on you know blogs, anything like that, that's kind of stuck out at you as as far as a negative or even a positive about the album? Actually, you know, this record has gotten the best overall reviews of any of our records so far. Okay. Chemicals has so, I, all the reviews we've seen have been have been uh, positive. So. You know, I'm, yeah. I'm sure there are people out there hating hating the shit out of the record, but so far I just haven't seen any of the negative oh, ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so no negative ones yet. That's, yeah, that's always a good th sign. It's, that's cool because usually we see tons of negative ones right, right off the bat. You know, is there one? Did someone say the record was too short or something. And they were pissed. Or like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's the kind of that's a, a good. That's good they thing. want more. That's yeah, then we exactly. did our job right. Yeah, that's almost a good com a good complaint. You know? Is there one comment since you've been a band that's always stuck out in your mind that you can remember? Like, you know, I see comments on our videos. The wor one that always sticks out to me is, "I've been called the worst interviewer in the world before." Yeah, we, we, so. we, we, we've been called the worst band in the world, okay. worst album in the world, worst song in the world. We've had I've seen when on our first album when we were with Atlantic at one point, um, like three quarters of the way through the album cycle. They gave us a, a press uh, book, essentially, okay. of, of, of all the reviews that, that had been done on the record. It was like this thick. Really? And it was just review after review. And I, we read through some of them, and it was just blistering, man. Yeah, <laughs> dude. It was harsh. Yeah. Harsh. Well, I mean, one good thing, I just saw you guys, you guys have been posting these last week or two about uh, you guys, you know, you see on like the radio stations do the cockfights or the battles of the, you know, the songs and everything. False Alarm has made it pretty far, right? Because you guys would just won a fifth round of something, I'm guessing. I just saw that. Yeah, we, we won uh, Loudwire mm -hmm. cage match thing, I think. Yeah. Th those things are cool, you know, that... I don't know. I don't know what all those things do for you, but you know, it's cool to be. Yeah, gets the song out there a little more, and I'm pro I probably just jinxed you right now talking about it. But, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, knows? yeah, false alarm is out. I mean, that's your single right now, mm -hmm. and I mean, that's that's yeah, that's the one that's hitting the radios. Do you guys have the next song that you know that's going to be the single, or can you even say anything about that yet, or not? I don't think we know exactly yet. I think we're focusing on this song right well, now yeah. and just trying to take it as far as we can you know at a time right yeah well, let's uh, do this we went to facebook and we said hey we're interviewing smile empty soul tonight so i picked a question kj joseph uh, actually asked uh, she asked could if you could have a tattoo based on your talent that you have that's non-musical what would it be so something that you guys are really talented uh, outside of music what would the tattoo be or whatever hmm. it's kind of a deep one right <laughs> A tattoo that's not musical related that we're interested in. So, pick what's what's a talent you guys have outside of music, and then it'd be a tattoo related to that. Well, if this was a shittier dressing room, we're really good at drawing dicks on the wall. Really? So, so you probably have a dick on your body somewhere. Ryan Maybe I Ryan already speak. do. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan's Finally. For on this one. No, I speak for him. <laughs> So that we'll just you want to leave it at that. That's a hard I question mean, to answer, us, really. Dude. All of us draw, you know, a little bit here and there and stuff. I mean, we I could see all of us drawing our own tattoos. Okay. You know, that would so, definitely be something within the realm of possibility. Right. 
So drawing your own design. Yeah. Maybe oh, a yeah. tattoo artist. So you do a tattoo on yourself or something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's do that. Yeah. Okay. Good answer. So KJ, thank you for your question. All right. You guys ready to have some fun? Let's do it. I don't think we introduced the second part of this now. We've just been doing this lately. But uh, I'll walk you through this. Who wants to start us off? Okay. Sean. Hey, hey. I gotta make sure I get one real deep in there. <laughs> okay, so first we're gonna read it. If you could play music in any other genre, what would it be? Okay, now one through 55, pick a number. Do you want me to say it out loud? Yeah, it's not a magic trick, don't worry. 11. Okay, 11. Can you do a British accent? Yes. Okay. I can. Good. So you're going to answer the question with the British accent, is really what it's saying. Well, I guess if I could play music of any other genre besides hard rock, it would be acoustic, soft, sing a songwriter bullshit, like, <laughs> like I already do. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> there you go. So you guys got it now? Okay. All right. Who's going next? I guess we'll go down the line. Huh? All right. Let's go. All right. Question is, in your opinion, what's the greatest advantage to your fame? Okay. Now, one through 55. <laughs> Six. Getting really close to the mic as you answer. <laughs> <laughs> like moving it closer as you answer? You can take I it as however you want. <laughs> I, th I think that. I, what was the question? Yeah, that's right. You might have to get a little closer to this one. Greatest advan ad advantage to our fame? <laughs> no. There, I, I haven't. Sometimes I get stuff discounted, like instruments. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I get ten percent off. Uh, Family. <laughs> so, yeah, so like that's really kind of it. Like free stuff. Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes some free stuff. Free musical equipment, discounted musical equipment, that kind of stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So discounts. <laughs> All right. We can call it fame, right. personally. That's for sure. Yeah. Excuse me, I waited for my fifth wind of the day here. I keep yawning all the time. All right, where would you like to play for the first time and why? Okay, one mm. through 55. 54. You're a salesman. You just sell your answer. What is it, the, the tavern in Liverpool where the Beatles uh, got their start? You're gonna wanna play that tavern. That's where the Beatles fucking started. And they, that's where they, uh, that's, that's where, that's where they got it all going. So, I mean, that's basically a magical spot. And so, yeah, Tavern Liverpool, man. But wait, there's more. <laughs> oh, again. You guys want double dip? Yeah, you tell right. me when. Here, go for it. And we'll take another dip. <laughs> and we'll have another number pick, too. If you could be any movie character, who would it be? Okay. All right, well, you pick your number then. 32. 32. Oh, out of breath. So you answer as you're out of breath. <laughs> <sighs> if I could be any character from any movie, I guess it would have to be Hunter S. Thompson in Fear of in Las Vegas. There you go. <laughs> Easy as that, right? That's awesome. Do you guys, because like I said, these are fan submitted questions. Questions like those where it doesn't really pertain to the band, do you mind answering? Or what, what are your take? Because you probably get those, like you said, you have some questions like that in other interviews. But what do you take, what's your take on that? Pointless? What? What's it's nonsense, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> do, you, I mean, do you mind answering questions that doesn't even pertain to the band like that? Or is it just sure. whatever? If, if this no. is what people are interested in hearing, I yeah. guess, if I can, it matters, in, I guess. <laughs> well, it's better than answering uh, something like, when did your first CD come out? <laughs> yeah, it's 
true. Yeah, so get away Something that you can look up on Wikipedia in five seconds. Right. Exactly. Yeah. But they don't know exactly what movie character you'd be. So there we go. All right. We got a couple more here. All right. Okay. okay. And then the show will be starting. So. What is your favorite and least favorite tattoo? And if none, do you want any? All right. Sean, you want to pick his number? Um, 24. 24. Ooh, you have to pee really bad. <laughs> my, least, my least favorite tattoo. Okay. So. <laughs> Clothes are coming off for having to pee really bad? <laughs> I don't know. I'll show you the tattoo. Oh, the tattoo. Okay. So this tattoo, I had to, uh, I had to get, I got it really fucking drunk. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I, yeah, I regret it. I regret it because it's it's like in prime real estate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Say we got it. That's the one. I fucking blew it. Are they really playing right now? Yeah. Oh, okay. Eight o'clock. Fucking so, out. All right, one more, and then we'll get a, get you guys on your way. Oh, what's your drink of choice on tour? This guy's number. Number two. Angry driver. Fucking white Russians, you son of a bitch! That's all there is to it. Uh, all right. Let's say the box can be weird at times, but hey, you guys got through it. Oh yeah. What's the last message you guys want to leave uh, the fans with for tonight? Don't be a douche. Okay, that's a good one. <laughs> Drink more water. Drink more water. <laughs> Practice your instruments. That's right. Guys, once again, Smile Empty Soul, definitely check out Chemicals. It's out now. Once again, Jeremy Backstage Entertainment, Smile Empty Soul. Hey, everyone. Become a fan of Backstage Entertainment on Facebook and enter in contests to win autographed prizes from the bands and entertainers we interview. By joining our page, you can also contact us to submit your own questions into the BSE box. And make sure to subscribe to us on YouTube to see all of our interviews and backstage footage from the shows. From Backstage Entertainment, I'm Jeremy LaFrance.